Good afternoon, my drillers. It's your boy Niran here, and it is late September, and you all know what that means. Evenings in the UK where it starts to go dark at approximately 6 p.m., unnecessarily early Christmas decorations, and a game with three new additions being downloaded all across the country. FIFA is back on the channel, and today we are here creating the greatest team on the game. We've booted up FIFA 23 career mode, and I have assembled a squad with the best potential on the game. We're going to get them to this potential and see whether they absolutely dominate their Premier League. We've taken over as AFC Richmond and because they're a neutral team, they're not actually in the Premier League. I wanted to use a manager who wasn't in the Premier League. I was going to go with PSG's option, but Kylian Mbappe is already actually in the starting 11. So I've chosen another manager who's not in the Premier League anymore, Scott Parker. And if you ask me, I've actually improved his dress sense. So now if you're going to enjoy this first FIFA 23 content on the channel, then feel free to slap a like on it and please do subscribe if you're new to the channel 2365% of you are currently not subscribed so I'd really appreciate it if you hit that big red button because there's more FIFA 23 content coming you get me so first of all we've got to go through this new menu system in detail Having gone through the new menu system in detail, it's time to check out this squad. And I'll be honest, it's absolutely disgusting. In goal, we've got Gianluigi Donnarumma, who's been below the age of 22 for nine whole years. Trent Alexander-Arnold in defence is a bold move from me, but I'm going with it anyway. Our centre-back partnership is Bastoni and De Ligt here. Now, this is in terms of ratings, but in terms of potential, this will change. In fact, I need to change something already. Tart, what are you doing? <laughs> Ever the man to be completely prepared, we go again. Teo Hernandez at left back, solid 85 overall. A central midfield of Jude Bellingham and Pedri Abbas, who's got 93 potential. On the right, we've got Phil Foden. He's left-sided, but he can play anywhere, let's be real. On the left is Real Madrid's Brazilian wonder kid, Vinicius Jr. And then through the centre, one of the most disgusting strike partnerships you'll ever see, and Kylian Mbappe. Erling Haaland could do a job of a two on his own. He's here as the Norwegian monster. On the bench, we've got the likes of Koble, Fikayo Tamori, Tanali, Tart, who actually plays for AFC Richmond, but has a ridiculous potential. Dusan Vlahovic, Kai Havertz, and Ronald Araujo. We've got Musiala, Florian Verts, and Zufati, and Josko Gavardiol rounding out the squad. All of these guys have 90 potential or above, and about four seasons into this career mode, they're gonna be grim. Why does Scott Parker not have a neck in this game? I'm a little bit confused. The first thing we'll be doing is going through pre seat Why are there five teams in the group? Why is it four teams and me. It was eight teams in the group and it was it, mm, it. We came fifth out of the eight. We weren't even in the top half. Oh. After a simply dazzling performance in pre-season it was now time to see how we would do in our first league campaign. I've just realised we're Craig Bellamy bro. Ready to go. We've arrived at the end of the season. I'm, I'm already at risk of losing my job. What's he getting? That tastes like relegation. Yeah! Which I'll be honest is not great for the longevity of this video. If it's only four minutes in length and that outro starts playing in a second and you know what's happened. We've ended up finishing second in the league. Spurs won the league. Yeah, nah. I was hoping that this FIFA would be a bit more realistic. Nah. They've won the league by seven points over ourselves and Liverpool in second and third, then City, Chelsea, United and Arsenal. We're in our first season with a group of wonder kids, a group of young individuals and not much experience in this side. We've come second in the league, which to me is not a bad effort, though clearly to the board they're not really that happy. Our best rated player right now is Mbappe, he's 94, flipping it. He's gone up by three already. It might well be over for the rest of the league. Same for a very small looking Erling Haaland. Donnarumma's up by two, Trent up by two, Hernandez up by three. Now, when I was joking about a contract termination and the end of the video here, <laughs> Yeah, I'll be honest, lads, we've been sacked. Uh, the AFC Richmond board, they're not pleased. Ted Lasso and Scott Parker, both out of there. Ted Lasso wasn't even managing the team at the time, but just by association, they've deported him home. We can only take charge of Nottingham Forest. And we have to avoid relegation, and they've already gone down. Obviously, what I was going to do was keep an eye and monitor this team uh, so I could see the growth of the team, keep the entire squad together. What we'll have to do now is 
like watch them from afar, I guess. Uh, so obviously, again, you know, this is becoming sacking simulator like, right now. We've lost our job as Nottingham Forest manager. I am really concerned where we're going to end up. We were meant to win the league title. We haven't done that. We've now got to go to Portsmouth. Again, we only have one choice here. Good news and definitely the point of this video, Portsmouth stayed in the championship. Oh my God! Oh my God. This is oh. what he does! In the Premier League. Yeah, these lot are finished. Yeah, they're done. They're done. AFC Richmond have finished seventh. Uh, the team of Wonder Kids are in seventh position. The best team in the game, the best team possible, finished seventh. They're in the Conference League, lads. Liverpool won the Champions League. Were Richmond present at all? Yeah, the team of Wonder Kids went out 2 0. But they did win the FA Cup, beating Middlesbrough 4 1 in the final. And did the Cup double, except it's it's the Carabao Cup. So it's, it's a 1.5. It's that time of the video again. Despite only just scraping survival, Portsmouth wanted us to finish mid table. I can already tell that this game is going to be stupid for board. Season 3 is done. Finito slapped in the chapters. In the past, the history books, it's over. Done. Finalized. And AFC Richmond still haven't won the league. Like, ratings, we're getting to a point now where they just do pound for pound, have the best players in the whole game, and they still can't win the league. They didn't win the FA Cup this time either. Where did we lose? Hartlepool went further than the Wonder Kids did. And they lost their Carabao Cup winner status too. Chelsea won that on penalties. They went out at the first possible opportunity. Too late in Orient. I want to end it all. All right, it's fine. The Conference League works differently on the game. They must have been put in the Europa League instead, and they were, and they won it. So that's a European trophy won by the Wonder Kids, but it's the Europa League. And no offense to the Europa League, these lot should have been winning the Champions League. Right, season four, they finally broke the dock. AFC Richmond have won the Premier League. 80 points accumulated, so really not that many to win the league here. For the best team in the game, it should have happened before now. In the FA Cup, and they were knocked out in the semi-finals to Aston Villa. In the Carabao Cup, and they didn't even make it to the quarterfinals. Meanwhile, they were guaranteed a spot in the Champions League after winning the Europa League last year. They utilised that by going out in the quarters. And our final season at Simming Forward is done. The team of Wonder Kids have finished second in the league. So in total, in five years, the best possible team on this game has taken one Premier League title. They finished second, six points behind Chelsea and ahead of the two Manchester clubs. They didn't take home the FA Cup in this final season either. That went to Arsenal after beating Blackburn. They didn't win the Carabao Cup either, losing in the semi-finals to Chelsea. But in the Champions League, and they would come the closest they have in the entire save, losing to RB Leipzig of all teams, 1-0 in the final. Now obviously, I'm gassing them up and I'm saying they're the best team in the game possible. But in fairness, things might have changed since the start, given I'm not controlling them anymore. Let's have a little gander and see what their club is looking like. We've got Trent Alexander-Arnold at a 90 rating. Prince Anning, I'm not, I don't know this man. Donnarumma at 92, Bastoni at 90. I mean, they've still got really, really good players, let's be honest. Like, this is still a team that should be absolutely slapping everyone. Haaland at 94, Hernandez at 90, Havertz at 91. Piero, I don't know how to pronounce his name, but from Bayer Leverkusen, they've signed him, he's 85. The team has changed a lot. You've got Mbappe there at 95, Pedri at 93, Denali at 90, Rudiger's here at 86, Venetius 92, Timo Van, how has he ended up here? Vlahovic at 91, Joe Willock, I, mean, I just don't know what's going on. I don't remember seeing Verts. I don't remember seeing Gavardiola, I don't remember seeing Araujo or Musiala, uh, they lost Vicayo Tomori, I think, in all of that, Phil Foden, I don't remember seeing either, Bellingham's gone too. So there is quite a decent amount of players, but let's be real, with players that are 93, 94, and 95, they're still the best team in the game. So the fact they've not won a single Champions League, they've only won one Premier League, is a disappointment. We're going to rewind time, go back to the start, and play a game with this team, and see whether they're a little bit better in-game than they were in The Sims. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to see this team in action. And who can we pit the best team in the game against? I mean, surely it has to be the worst. Leicester City. The two teams are exiting out onto the pitch. The team of Wonder Kids are here to... I've literally done the team wrong. The two teams are now actually coming out onto the pitch. And it's time to see what the technical best team on FIFA 23 can actually do. Right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get amongst it. Foden there, seen the run of Haaland and Erling's away. It's the machine himself. Here. Might still. It's the... 
Trent Alexander Arnold's done a good bit of defending. Realistically, oh wow. Realistically, that's all we needed to see today. It's Kylian Mbappe. Great save from Ward. This game really isn't realistic. Now then, Vinicius Jr.'s got some space here. It's back towards Jude Bellingham. What a finish from the youngster. It's a volley in from Borussia Dortmund's own. Jude Bellingham with a scintillating finish. Football's a simple game. 22 men kick a ball around and in the end, Brendan Rodgers loses. Oh, Bellingham outside of the boot. Disgusting behavior. Oh, it's sensational. And now it's Pedri. Ward's made a save again. Who would have thought it? Danny Ward, a competent goalkeeper. Oh, keeper in. Ah, yeah, Donnarumma's all right, innit? Mbappe's not having a great day. He's getting nightmares because he's playing in red and blue, thinking Lionel Messi's going to overshadow him again. Pedri skips away from the challenge there. Bellingham back to Pedri again. It's just wide from the Spaniard. <laughs> It, I no, nah, Vinicius. Nah, I don't know who he went, but I think it was all Brighton. His career's over. Oh, Vinicius is making moves here. And off the I don't know what's just happened, lads. I'll be honest with you. Defending needs to be done by Trent Alexander. No, it's Phil Foden. It's Haaland. It's Bellingham again. And it's a second of the game for Jude. He's easily the standout player right now. Not gonna lie. Liverpool, if you're watching, just please sign a minute because we need. Oh, Donna Rumor's insane. Um, <clears throat> yeah, never mind. Yeah, uh, mm, the, the clean sheet there's a little bit. What a challenge from Teo and Andes. Can he play the right ball? He can. Haaland's away. Oh. It's not the greatest showcase, but there were some standout performers. Does this play like the best team in the game? Probably not at the start. When these lot hit their potentials, they'll be incredible. And Drew Bellingham will be even better. But that is going to wrap up today's video. Checking out and making the best team possible on FIFA 23. If you enjoyed this one, feel free to slap a like on it and of course subscribe if you're new to the channel you can also follow me on social media it is at the official fng on twitter and on insta but it's been a pleasure ranting at you guys today have a wonderful day enjoy yourselves and goodbye